to the lab again. We messed up. Back to the lab again. Not again. Back to the lab again. Hey guys, I had a lot of footage from different decks that I never had time to make into full videos, and I thought the gameplay was still really fun, so here's a variety show of sweet games. Enjoy! Also leave a like, bye! Galaxy Eyes on the play. Actually on the play this time. Um, <laughs> and then we just draw nothing. Oh, good grief. Okay, so they reload, and they're Numeron. Okay. Um, gross. <laughs> so, the second Magical Mallet, uh, now that I know what they're doing, um, okay, if you don't know, they're basically using Magical Mallet and Reload just to turbo out their Numeron combo, and they're gonna try to grab, like, a Limiter Removal or, like, British Starfighter? One of the, the old level 4 machines actually pumps up all their machines enough to uh, win the game. Um, so now that we know what they're doing, we're gonna go ahead and Ash the Magical Mallet because we know that they don't have the answer in these two cards. Um, so, they they do get to deal 4k, but that is not enough to kill because uh, we did the good old hard pass do nothing. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes that's actually the right answer if we luck out. Uh, I feel like I, I luck out with Crusadia all the time doing that. Uh, we have Lightning Storm, so we're gonna destroy the spell cards. Photon Sanctuary, um, but still no actual Photon or Galaxy Monsters, so we are stalling, <laughs> putting up some blockers. Okay, okay, well, uh, they still can't do anything because we destroyed their uh, field spell. There's another Lightning Storm, um, so let's put up some more blockers. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. This draw was so bad. All right, and they're playing... Okay, let me pause it and show you what they're playing. Um, Ledger of Ledger Domain. This is a card that exists. Um, <laughs> uh, so the idea behind this card is you banish the top three cards of your deck, and then three turns later, you add them all to your hand. So it is technically a better Pot of Greed, because Pot of Greed is a plus one, because it replaces itself and draws you an extra card. That's what makes it a plus one. This card is a plus two, which is busted, but it takes three whole turns to plus two, um, which in Yu-Gi-Oh, modern Yu-Gi-Oh anyway, is real bad. It's, it's real bad. Um, even when they played this, I was like, there's no way we're gonna stall for three turns and that's gonna be the difference maker. Um, but kudos to you, Soul Taker, for actually playing uh, Ledger of Ledger Domain. Uh, you kind of make me want to build a deck around it now, but... Anyway, um, let's draw our card. And we finally find an answer! We find Photon Orbital, um, but it gets negated, and... <laughs> okay, okay. So Photon Orbital's equip ability is not a hard once per turn. So when we use it, they negate it with Appaloosa. So we use it again. They negate it with Appaloosa. We use it again. They negate it with Appaloosa. Um, so you'd think that after the first two times, they would read the card. Um, <laughs> oh, I love Numeron players, man. Way, way to go, way to go. You, you do you, man. I'm not even upset. I just think it's funny. Um, so we activate it again, and he negates it. <laughs> <laughs> we activate it again if you have any gates left. <laughs> oh lord. Okay, so we go Galaxy Wizard, make it level 8, go for uh, Expo, and uh, <laughs> we can swing it and win the game here. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, GG's, man. That gave me a good laugh. Well played. Earth Machine. Going first. So we use Heavy Forward to search our Infinitrack Harvester, try to get a search off, but they imperm us. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and use our Heavy Freight Train Derecrane, and I forget that we were impermed already. <laughs> I was gonna go up to uh, level 12 and then rank up for um, uh, Zeus. And then I just choose to go up to Infinitrack Goliath. We go Regulus. 
cool, cool. Get a negate on board. And Ballista is gonna search box and a tunneler, I believe. There it is. That way we could potentially get some draws on the next turn. Um, I don't wanna banish my whole graveyard just for a draw two. And we can bring out our Machina Fortress. Okay. And they kaiju us, and we are up against uh, Crusadia. And obviously, I love Crusadia. I have a couple videos on the deck uh, on my channel. So because they start with Crusadia Arborea, this is the one that gives um, a potential protection by banishing herself from the graveyard. I want to go ahead and use Torrential Tribute right away because Crusadia needs to swing over a monster in order to kill us and deal a lot of damage. Generally, um, of course they could do it if they had Parallel Exceed, but I, I have to play around what I have right now. So uh, we go ahead and Torrential Tribute to wipe our own board. Um, and in response, they use Crusadia Power to protect their Arborea. Yeah, if you don't know, stopping Crusadia's normal summon is like the primary method of countering the deck and keeping them from playing. Um, so they go Magus, go Regulex, go up the chain here, search a second copy of Crusadia Power. I usually don't play two, I usually only play the one because Draco can also grab it back from the graveyard. Um, they use Preclusia to destroy our heavy forward. Does not matter. I probably wouldn't have wasted the Arborea banish from graveyard um, just to keep Reclusia on board and they actually stopped here for a little bit before passing their turn uh, probably considering um, using Reclusia to go up to a second Magus and then going up to Avermax um, but they choose not to because Equimax has a negation by tributing a Crusadia monster and we top deck Brutal Dozer which is so good um, there are a lot of one card combos in uh, the Earth Machine deck, so it's not actually that unlikely that we would draw something like this. Um, we normal summon Metal Cruncher, and that does get their Equimax negation here, which is a mistake. Um, I just talked about how to counter Crusadia, but if you want to counter Earth Machine, um, Brutal Dozer is the one you want to negate. Uh, basically, you can let the Infinite Track Harvester go off, you can let the Metal Cruncher go off, because they're just going to search for Brutal Dozer, and then you would summon your Brutal Dozer by tributing it, and then Brutal Dozer would go for a special summon. But if you negate that summon, that's going to stop their turn anyway, and they're actually going to be in a weaker position. Um, so, because he negated our Metal Cruncher, it actually goes back up to 2800. So, again, they really should have waited and tried to negate the Brutal Dozer, but that's like a game knowledge thing. I don't really blame them for that. But as you can see, we could totally swing over their uh, Equimax now because we have 28 to their 25, um, but we actually have a path to uh, dealing 8,000 damage this turn and winning on this turn. So let's see how we do that now. Uh, we go Brutal Dozer. Brutal Dozer is gonna special summon a Trencher and we can go up to Infinitrack River Stormer search our uh, express bullet train and we're just going to keep going up to goliaths because we can return a bunch of cards from our graveyard back to the deck and that includes extract monsters uh, for tunneler and we get to basically draw just a bunch of cards um, so harvester gonna search anchor drill doesn't really matter that's just in case they have something crazy like a nibiru in here um, and then we can go up to goliath again Set, uh, special summon bullet train for free. Go double headed anger knuckle. Tribute itself to summon our copy of Dara Crane. And then go up to Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max. Deal 2000 damage. And by detaching uh, Dara Crane, we can also destroy their Equimax. And that's why I said it was definitely a mistake for them to use up their Arborea trigger. Uh, just to keep their uh, Reclusia on board, but also our Torrential Tribute put them in a really rough position. So, eh, you know, it's it's kind of hard um, if you are Crusadia and you don't have a monster to swing over. So uh, we are going to deal them 2,000 damage with our Gustav Max, and then rank up after destroying their Equimax to Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut Leap. 6,000 damage. GG's. Playing Triple D. Go in second. And we do have an Imperm. They just go Duality and grab a Torrential Tribute. So we know one of those is Tribute. 
And they activate Heavenly Prison. So we can't destroy their spell traps. Not that we could anyway. Uh, so we activate Gate, go Kepler, and they go for... Uh, there can only be one, which means we can only have one Fiend monster on board. Um, but we actually have Orthros, so we can get rid of it. So we're going to go ahead and use Gate to search. And use Orthros. Pop the Gate, pop there can only be one. And then we can keep playing. And we go Flame King Genghis. That does get the Torrential Tribute. And... Uh, Flame King Genghis, when it's destroyed, lets us go ahead and add back the gate, which is pretty cool. And we use the Dark Contract Field spell, go for Vice Typhon, summon a uh, High Genghis, Flame King, Flame High King Genghis, or whatever. And then we go Ragnarok, which I was playing at the time. I think he's pretty fun, uh, but definitely don't need him for the most optimal build of Triple D. So then we just go for the classic Deus Ex Machina. And we are up against Numerons. So uh, they swing in. We have an Imperm, and that is actually gonna save us here. Otherwise, they'd just be able to double their attack in extra time and swing at us for 8k. The classic Numeron play. And then they just go up to Avermax, which uh, we can't target. <laughs> we have kind of a hard time uh, outing this, this Avermax. Uh, so Copernicus lets us bury a Necro Slime and then go for another fusion play. Flame King Genghis. I should have put this in defense so I wouldn't take damage when I swung at us. Uh, and then we just have another Imperm. So they go Lava Golem. Wouldn't have mattered anyway, I guess. Uh, swing over it and deal us 3,000 damage. So we are not in a good position. Right, so they play Summon Limit. So not only are we staring down an Avermax that we can't remove, uh, we can only summon twice. Um, so Gate, at least, is gonna search an answer for us, okay? So, you might not know, because this is only really used as a pendulum scale in Triple D, but Triple D, uh, Divine Zero King Rage, or whatever it is, uh, basically, Ragey or Declan, if you watch the dub, um, in Triple D monster form, he can attack directly. And if your opponent's attack, or if your opponent's life points are less than four thousand, he gains attack equal to their life points. So we can actually just ignore this Avermax and swing in here. So Oblivion King, going to re pendulum summon our Copernicus. Copernicus is going to bury a Swirl Slime. And Swirl Slime has the ability to banish itself and special summon one of your Triple D monsters from your hand, right? So we special summon our Divine Zero yada yada, um, tribute the Copernicus to let him attack directly, and then we just win. We just, yeah, we're gonna ignore Avermax. Let's go. <laughs> GG's. Crusadia. Going second. And they go terraforming, chicken game, looking to draw some cards. Activate, pay a thousand draw a card, set a card face down. Okay, well, uh, they didn't really do all that much. So we're actually gonna activate the chicken game to draw a card as well, because we have this Harpy's Feather Duster. So we don't have to use its effect to destroy itself. And, come on, there we go. So they are a synchro deck, it looks like, and they just bricked a little bit. Um, so we're gonna go up to Magus with our Reclusia, activate Parallel Exceed, Chain Block of course, so we can grab uh, Draco. Um, I wanted to go for Draco here because um, I wanted to be able to go up to Duggaris and use the Reclusia again. That way I would have enough monsters to pump up our Equimax to around 8,000, 7,000, 8,000 damage and we'd still be able to win that way. Um, and, of course, they have a Nibiru here, so they're going to tribute all of our monsters and give us a token. Um, but we can actually use this token to go up to Link Spider. Um, I don't often play Link Spider. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm playing it in this version just because I'm trying to go for maximum damage, and I figured, why not? I'd just try it. Um, so they nib us, and we can use the token to go up to Link Spider. If they nibbed us later, like after we went up to Equimax, we'd probably still 
be stuck, which is why I don't really like playing Link Spider. Um, I wouldn't have enough resources here uh, if they'd waited to play Nib, but you know, people see a, a glowing button and they want to click it, right? So we go up to Link Spider, summon Draco, pull back our Reclusia. But now they have a monster on board <laughs> that, <laughs> that we can Kaiju. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we Kaiju to the zone in front of Regulex, activating it, which is kind of cool. So we grab Revival so that we get just a little extra attack. Go up to Equimax. There we go. And <laughs> this is this is where the Leeching Light comes in play. Um, that's why we're playing Jizukiru and Thunder King, is because those are the two light attribute kaijus. So we can actually Leeching Light here and still manage to uh, win the game. <laughs> Even without the Maximus doubling, doubling our damage. <laughs> oh, they, they never expect the spell card that increases our attack. Cyber Darks. Stuck going second in this game. And we're up against Ignister. Uh, I, I think I just... Five minutes later. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay. It's my turn now. Okay, cool. So we're in Cyber Dragons. And they're in the extra monster zone. So we don't actually care. We're just gonna... Yeah, there we go. So now we're gonna go into our Cyber Dark combos. Swing in, and they rage quit. Cool, good game. <laughs>